Yes, hello, good evening everyone. Good evening, Metro Tacloban. Yes, hello, good evening, Tacloban. Good evening, Philippines. Yes. Mula Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Yes. Isang mapagpalang gabi po sa ating lahat. And good morning and good afternoon to some other parts of the world. Mm-hmm. This is your Coach Presi. And Coach Arya. And you are now tuning in to Kingdom, Kingdom Talk, Talk Philippines. Yes. And for tonight... I am so excited yes. because for tonight we will have a very special yes. guest Coach Spressy. Mm-hmm. Yes, straight from Florida. Live. And I know you will be excited too to know mm-hmm. our guest for tonight. So just stay tuned and stay with us for another hour of this. Thank you. And tonight Coach, I'm so excited to to put on air our guest for tonight. But mm-hmm. before that, Yes. Mm-hmm. I want you to introduce the one who has been given the privilege yes. and honor to introduce our guest. Before we put our guest for tonight, let me have the honor to bring you uh, Ma'am Marites Du to introduce our guest for tonight. Yes. Okay. Hi. Good evening, Hello, Coach Ardell and Sister Presley. And to all the viewers and listeners of this program, of yours, the Kingdom Talk. Well, it's an honor for me to be invited and to introduce you to special guests for tonight. Mm-hmm. Let me introduce to you Krista Sucre. Krista Sucre operates the Bayfront Inn in Naples, Florida mm-hmm. and utilizes her 33 years of hotel experience as an international business and leadership speaker. Mm-hmm. Wow. She is the president and founder of Agents for Change International. Mm-hmm. a global leadership training and mentorship network. In 2015, she opened her own office with a focus of mentorship and leadership training with the vision of changing the destiny of nations mm-hmm. through leadership training. Mm-hmm. She recently launched the School of Influence for Agents of Change, a series of video learning e-courses and workbooks, mm-hmm. specifically created to guide and mentor individuals, groups and organizations to become agents of change in their own nation mm-hmm. as they discover and develop their area of leadership mm-hmm. and influence. Her first book, Figure It Out, was mm-hmm. released in 2015. She served as a trustee of her mentor, the late Dr. Miles Monroe's leadership organization, ITWLA. She traveled with Dr. Monroe to many nations, meeting wow. with government officials. Mm-hmm. She's also an alumni of Oral Roberts University. Mm-hmm. Matthew Craig, her husband of 13 years, is an award-winning architect wow. with six regional offices. Mm-hmm. They also opened their first restaurant, Timeless Eatery, in Naples, Florida, mm-hmm. where they reside with their son, Maverick, six years old, and daughter, Shiloh Street. Mm-hmm. With no so much further ado, Miss Krista Sucre. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very Mama much. Rites. You know, Coach Presi, uh, mm-hmm. and incur- and anyone it- has a place in this program, yes. Coach Presi. That's right. As you can see, despite of mm-hmm. the situation of Mam Marites, still she finds time mm-hmm. to yes. give her best to introduce our guest tonight. Yes. And, and for uh, such an honor for us, Coach Presi. Thank you very much, Ma'am. I'm so blessed for your mm-hmm. life. And nakaka-encourage ko siya, yes, yes. na makita na uh, sickness is not, uh, kumbaga, it's a not hindrance. A, li- a hindrance and a limitation yes. para hindi ka magamit yes. ng Panginoon. Yes. So thank you, Ma Marites, though, for the We really time. appreciate that. Yes. yes, thank you very much. And more kingdom favor to you. Yes. So, Coach Presi? Okay, so let's not waste time. Let's put on Miss Trisa Sucre. Hello, good morning Hi, to you. Ma. Good morning. Greetings from Naples, Florida. <laughs> yes. Wow, such a beautiful creation. <laughs> so I, I I know that as uh, as you can see the one who has been introduced to you, I am so blessed by that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, and this is a memorable. <laughs> yes. And it First will time bring, in Kingdom Talk. And it will bring encouragement to everyone. Yes. Love it. 
Yeah. <laughs> and once again, we just want to thank you before anything else for the time that you have spent with us again in this program Kingdom Talk. I believe that everyone will be um, excited again to hear the message that you will be sharing with us here in the Philippines. Yes. Well, it's an honor to join you again. I think the work that you guys are doing is absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you are seeing much fruit of it. Yeah. And and I know you're going to go to another level even next wow. year, 2020. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, and we are uh, really excited and um uh, we are expecting greater things ahead for 2020. Amen. I believe it, Coach Presley. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, this is your show. I'm Amtrista. Okay. Well, let's jump Do right in. Waves. Yes. <laughs> I have so much to share and so wow. little time, yeah. but <laughs> there is one message that has been on my heart for mm-hmm. um, a few months that I did want to share with any that has eyes to see and ears to hear. Uh, recently, this weekend, my nephew called me. He's 20 years old and he's at the university. And he is trying to decide um, what courses to take, what degree to get. He's trying to decide his future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So I was sharing with him some little bits of, of principles mm-hmm. of how to start deciding his future and he kept talking about building an empire wow. and said okay listen let's <laughs> take a notch <laughs> calm down mm-hmm. listen the key to success is becoming a person of value yes. albert einstein said mm-hmm. so we don't see success and you know in the kingdom we don't seek money we pursue purpose mm-hmm. yeah so wow. i shared with him purpose is our pursuit you have to serve your gift for humanity Mm -hmm. And I was trying to connect the dots with him because he did call and was asking these questions. Mm -hmm. I wasn't imposing my beliefs on him. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, a few of us in the family that are successful. So I was trying to help him connect the dots. And Mm -hmm. I said, listen, if you look at the various family members that are successful, Mm -hmm. we have one thing in common. Yes. We solve a a problem that humanity has. Mm -hmm. We are utilizing our gift. Mm -hmm. And solving a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My father is very um, successful mm-hmm. and he's a water well driller. Mm-hmm. So he is the deepest injection well driller in the world wow. <laughs> and the most efficient, effective one. Mm-hmm. And therefore, the demand for water has made him necessary, his gift. Mm-hmm. Water there is explaining to him about my husband. Mm -hmm. and how a husband makes a lot of people a lot of money so Mm -hmm. he's in demand (laughs) as an architect Mm -hmm. and doing a lot of commercial projects and spec homes Mm -hmm. and then I said and the problem that I solve is ignorance (laughs) (laughs) and there's and there's a lot of ignorance in this Mm -hmm. world and Mm -hmm. that's the problem that my gift solves as a teacher and teaching the kingdom of God and the principles of it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's one thing I wanted to talk about today was we are all on a journey of dumping our ignorance. Mm. We are a kingdom of ignorant kings. Mm -hmm. We don't know who we are, why we're here, Mm -hmm. who God is, what the kingdom is. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) And this is a problem. Yes. So therefore, I think of one of my favorite that's a foundational one to me is Hosea 4 6 Mm -hmm. and it says my people perish for lack of knowledge our lives are destroyed because of ignorance Mm -hmm. (laughs) so this is a big problem we have to solve (laughs) Mm -hmm. and you guys are part of the solution you are bringing (laughs) truth through the airwaves and using yeah and technology Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. And God is going to expand your borders. So continue doing everything in excellence Mm -hmm. and manage it now. Mm -hmm. And growth is is inevitable. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Watch what God does next well, year. As well, you continue yeah. operating. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But you have to do your part. Yes. You know, a lot of times in religion, we're, we get lazy and we sit back and we think mm-hmm. God's just going to do mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. If we're diligent. We do our part. Then God be opening doors when we do things in excellence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Go back to um, John, the very first scripture. And, and it says, In the mm-hmm. beginning of Jesus came is the expressed ideas, the logos, the expressed ideas of God. Mm-hmm. So whatever Jesus said and did is what God is thinking. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yes. it's very important that we focus on what Jesus said. Yes. What did he say? What was his message? Mm-hmm. What was his objective? Mm-hmm. Yes. There is a a movie called Forrest Gump, <laughs> and not and even if you don't know the movie, <laughs> man, and one day all of a sudden he decided to just start running, mm-hmm. and he just started running and running all across America. He mm-hmm. ran from coast to coast for three years. He just ran. Mm-hmm. Well, it got the attention of media. The media started to see what he was doing. And so he was on the news. So he mm-hmm. gathered a following mm-hmm. and people started running with him. And he mm-hmm. never said a word. Mm-hmm. He just ran and people yes. would ask questions. He didn't say a word. Mm-hmm. So for some reason, people thought he had all this knowledge and wisdom and they couldn't wait for him to say something. Mm -hmm. So finally, after three years of running, Forrest Gump stopped and everybody says, oh, he's gonna talk, he's gonna say something. What's he gonna say? What's what's his wisdom? And very eager to hear what Forrest Gump, after three years of running and silence, what he had to say. And this is what he said. Well, I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. (laughs) And that was all he said. So my premise is Jesus prepared 30 years Mm -hmm. for his ministry. Mm -hmm. And through this preparation, through the process of preparation, finally, once he was uh, baptized, once he went through the tensions, through the desert that was, he was led to by the Holy Spirit, He came out of the desert. Now he's ready to start his ministry for the first time in 30 years. So what does he have to say? Mm -hmm. What is his first words that he (laughs) utters after 30 years of preparing Mm -hmm. for the ministry? Mm -hmm. This is the most important statement and I think we miss it. And if if our precepts Mm-hmm. are wrong mm-hmm. and our understanding of the kingdom is misguided from religion, then we'll miss it. Yeah. So I want to emphasize today the mission statement of Jesus himself, the mm-hmm. express mm-hmm. ideas of God. Mm-hmm. Repent for the kingdom of heaven has arrived. Yes. Now, if you're religious, you'll think, oh, he's addressing sins. All the sins that I've done mm-hmm. that I need to repent and mm-hmm. be sorry for and go to the altar and cry and weep. Mm-hmm. And that will be our understanding mm-hmm. of repent if we don't have the correct precept of the kingdom of God. Yes. If you understand repent and you understand it's a word from psychology, it means change your thinking, mm-hmm. change your life. Repent is an attack on your mind, Mm -hmm. on your entire philosophy, and your entire belief system. Yes. Everything you thought you knew Mm -hmm. must change. Yes. When you start understanding the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Now, I came out of Christianity. I was hardcore. I was in deep, long, (laughs) and hard. Yes. (laughs) I went to Christian school. I went to chapel. We had Bible class every day. We Mm -hmm. memorized the Bible. I went to church three, four times a week. My mom had Bible studies in her house. She prayed all the time for people on the phone. I was in deep. If Mm -hmm. I wasn't at church, I was in a lot of trouble. (laughs) Mm -hmm. 
But then at the age of 35, all of a sudden I heard this message about the kingdom of God from Dr. Miles Monroe. Mm -hmm. yes. I immediately began weeping mm -hmm. and crying mm -hmm. because everything that I had been seeking, mm -hmm. all this time spent going to conferences, listening to audios, mm -hmm. reading mm -hmm. books, my whole entire life, now I had finally found the pearl wow. and it all made sense. Yes. yes. I immediately from that day forward mm -hmm. started repenting. Mm -hmm. I went and I ran to the resource table and I bought every CD and audio on the kingdom of God that they had. Mm -hmm. I said, give me everything. I want it all and I want it now. And I began that process of repenting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a continual process yes. because we are continually seeking, understanding, mm -hmm. diving in, uh, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, meditating mm -hmm. on understanding the kingdom of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a constant process. Yes. Now, before when I was a real Christian, I had a certain belief system and my belief system led me to make decisions and I had conceptions about life that weren't as accurate or truthful or full understanding of the mm -hmm. kingdom of yes. God. And mm -hmm. therefore I made a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. yes. I had a lot of misconceptions. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm simply because of my belief system yeah. was based on a philosophy mm -hmm. that wasn't complete truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So are, are you saying that the belief system is, is very important for a person because if he has a belief system that, uh, that is wrong, then it will affect his life. His entire life will be yeah. wrong. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because nothing is important as a philosophy it's powerful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and our source of philosophy is thought ideas so we have to be very conscious of where we're getting our thoughts our ideas from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and that's why the bible says that we must be diligent and guard our heart mm -hmm. because out of it flows the issues of life right. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. all the ideas, the thoughts, the books, the things we listen to, what we watch on TV, yes. mm -hmm. out of this, what goes into our mind, mm -hmm. and our mind is an incubator. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whatever thoughts in, it mm -hmm. will grow, we meditate on it, and it brings yes. life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are very wrong thoughts, ideas yes. out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Thoughts actually control the world. Look at Hitler. We mm -hmm. all know who Hitler is. Mm -hmm. yes. And the books that he read gave him thoughts and ideas that destroyed mm -hmm. a nation. Mm -hmm. yes. Destroyed yes, right. millions of people's mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. So thoughts control the world. So it's mm -hmm. so important that thoughts go in because they create ideas. We learn from our thoughts. We believe our thoughts. We yes. live out our thoughts. Mm -hmm. We become the essence of our thought process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if your thoughts are wrong, yes, your entire life is yes. wrong. <laughs> that's right. And that's why it's so important we understand what Jesus said. Repent, change your thoughts. Mm. That's your, right. Your thing's wrong. Mm -hmm. yes. Your that's whole life key. is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because now the kingdom has arrived. Yes. So you have to get a kingdom mentality mm -hmm. that's right. to understand how this kingdom works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing with our belief system. Mm -hmm. We can never become beyond our belief system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are limited in your life because of your beliefs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you will only change when your belief system changes. Mm -hmm. Now, your belief system produces your philosophy, mm -hmm. and we can never live beyond our philosophy. Mm -hmm. yeah. We live out of our philosophy. Mm -hmm. And nothing changes in our life until our philosophy changes. Yeah. And that's the entire premise Jesus was trying to get across because the only message he had was, repent, the kingdom has mm -hmm. arrived. Yes. Yeah. Change your thinking, mm -hmm. your belief system. Change your concepts of what you thought was true. Mm -hmm. Change 
no conditioning. We're mm -hmm. all, whatever culture we're from, yes. the Philippines has a culture, America yes. has a culture, yes. Africa has a yes. different culture, Singapore has a different culture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chile has a different culture. I love traveling and, and getting to know other cultures, mm -hmm. but there is only one culture that okay. has the proper truth and concepts and precepts mm -hmm. that we are told to seek. Yes. Mm -hmm. So our mental conditioning is different all yeah. around the world. Mm -hmm. We don't need more Christian mental conditioning. Mm -hmm. We don't need American mental conditioning. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of times missionaries and evangelists and people mm -hmm. who travel around the world or are now online mm -hmm. are trying to condition, condition others to believe like an American mm -hmm. or like a Christian. And that is not the solution. Mm -hmm. The solution is a kingdom mentality. Mm -hmm. What is God's big idea? Mm -hmm. What was Jesus's philosophy? What does that look like? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's so important that we change our thinking. And this doesn't happen by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit mm -hmm. will not change your thinking for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> You can't pray to change your thinking. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to repent. You Only you can change your own yeah. thinking. Yes. So that's why Jesus said, you must become disciples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that created disciples. He says, stick with me for three and a half years and I will change your thinking. Mm -hmm. And remember one time he was upset because they were still doing things the old way. <laughs> And he says, how long do I have to be with you? Don't you get it? Yes. <laughs> Jesus himself could make them change their thinking. Mm -hmm. They had the desire. They left everything to follow him. Mm -hmm. They gave up everything mm -hmm. so that they could change their thinking. Mm -hmm. So us now, Jesus is not with us, but he left us somebody whose job it is to lead and guide us to all yes. truth. Yes, that's right. Thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. But we have to make sure that we understand the precepts of God. Mm -hmm. So we understand his big idea, what a kingdom yes. is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about the power of our thoughts. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 23, 7, uh, King Solomon, the wisest man, mm -hmm. he said, For as a man thinks mm -hmm. in yes. his heart, heart is mine, mm -hmm. so he is. is. Yes. You are mm -hmm. what you think. Mm -hmm. the, your heart is is the fear center of reason. Mm -hmm. It's the hidden mind, the subconscious mind. It's your hard drive. Wow. Yes. So we have to change our hard drive. Mm -hmm. Yes. But this is where your belief system is contrived out of. Mm -hmm. Now, your belief system is based on what you hear. Mm -hmm. what you see, yeah. what thoughts. So it's, you have to be so careful what books you read. Mm -hmm. I am so diligent with with what's on TV when my children are around mm -hmm. or what my husband is watching when my Whoa. children are around. But they're downloading images, ideas. Yes. They're, little, they're like little sponges. Mm -hmm. And that's why Jesus says you have to become like a child again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We learn everything. Be yeah. a sponge in understanding the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can understand the kingdom mm -hmm. is starting all over from scratch. Yes. When I started learning about the kingdom of God, I said, I am going to delete <laughs> my hard drive, <laughs> delete, 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 oh, delete, yes. mm -hmm. and start from scratch. That's the mm -hmm. only way yes. to change mentality yes. and it's hard work mm -hmm. yes yes we all have these little dogmas these little mm -hmm. religious ideas that <laughs> yes. bring us comfort or mm -hmm. traditions that's all we've known mm -hmm. we have to throw them out the window yes mm -hmm. and you come know, like a child and learn from the very beginning mm -hmm. and this is key it's the only way mm -hmm. anyone's life will change yes. Yes. so one thing i love Dr. Miles taught us, I think it was 2010, his Kingdom Training Seminar. He began to explain to us the concept of what the process of idea, of an idea. Mm -hmm. 
And he started teaching about the how what an original thought is, mm-hmm. which is a precept. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the thought before the idea. Mm-hmm. So what was God's thoughts before the idea? Mm-hmm. What was his idea and thoughts before he did anything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a conceived idea is a concept, what you've concluded. Mm-hmm. And whatever we think a concept is becomes a conviction in our lives. And that's mm-hmm. why we have some very stagnant people. They have their convictions mm-hmm. and they can be completely wrong because of the ideas or the precepts they believed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But your conviction becomes your belief, your theology, your philosophy, mm-hmm. and your lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when I started changing my ideas, my thoughts, my beliefs, my entire lifestyle changed. Mm -hmm. My instincts changed. How Mm -hmm. I thought changed. Everything started changing. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is why Jesus said, watch out for those Pharisees. Mm -hmm. The teaching of the Pharisees is like yeast and it will contaminate you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, don't listen to them. They're giving you the wrong ideas, the wrong wow. concepts, the wrong belief system, yeah. mm-hmm. and it will contaminate your mm-hmm. entire life. Yes. Wow. You just watch out for them. They're like yeast. Mm-hmm. Yeast will just take a little bit, you put it in the dough, and it mm-hmm. expands, and it's done. That's mm-hmm. right. Look again what happened to Hitler. Mm-hmm. A little tiny idea began out of a book he read, and then look at the destruction that was caused from an idea. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So my job is not to affect people's emotions, but to affect our thinking, mm-hmm. because this is critical to our life. And a lot of us, our thinking is based on what our parents' ideas are, mm-hmm. what their convictions are, what their belief system is. And I thank God for the foundation that my my parents left gave me as mm-hmm. a child. They did the best they did. They knew that was all playing your Christian household, but it wasn't based on the complete truth of what a kingdom is. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. So I had to do a lot of work. Mm-hmm. A complete understanding of what a kingdom is, the mm-hmm. nation of God, the government of God. Mm-hmm. You have a little bit of work to do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And only you can do it. The Holy Spirit yeah. cannot do it for you. You cannot pray. God, change me, change. <laughs> I used to pray that in youth group, right? I yeah. go to the front of the altar. God, change me, use me, change me. <laughs> I did that, and nothing happened. Mm-hmm. But my intentions were good. Mm-hmm. It was based on my belief system. That was what mm-hmm. I was taught and trained. Mm-hmm. And Jesus came along and says, "You have to become a perpetual student. Yeah. That's a disciple." Mm-hmm. Perpetual is a constant student of the kingdom of God, seeking mm-hmm. its ways, its concepts, its yeah. ideas, its keys, mm-hmm. and understanding it. Then your life will change. Yes. Yeah. So I want to go back to David. I love King David. He was a man after yeah. God's own heart. That's I right. cannot wait to meet him one day. <laughs> I think he's easy man. <laughs> he was flawed like we all are flawed yes. but his heart was after the precepts of God yes. in Psalms 19 8 he said the precepts of the Lord are right yes. giving joy to the heart yes. he was a man after God's heart God's mind God's thoughts mm-hmm. and then wow. one problem that I see here is in nowadays in religion we have many people pursuing miracles Mm -hmm. i don't know if you have that in philippines religious people love miracles (laughs) we don't want god's ideas yes miracles don't change people yes Yes. that's right the bible says be transformed by the renewing Renewing of your mindset that's right and then king david said in psalms 1 11 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning and all who follow his precepts have good understanding. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Those who understand the ideas of God, 
then we can make decisions in our lives. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to spend all your time in prayer mm -hmm. to, to see the will of God. Mm -hmm. When you have understand the precepts, the principles, yes, how the kingdom right. operates, then you have good understanding mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can make decisions and you don't have to call all your friends and family to get their opinions mm -hmm. for yes. you. You'll know what to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we meditate oh, in Psalms 119. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. They put our life and we walk in righteousness. Mm -hmm. So that's what I really want to encourage you today. You mm -hmm. cannot become beyond your belief system. Yeah. And you only change when your belief system changes. Mm -hmm. Out of it flows the issues of life and the decisions that you make and the consequences that you will have to live with yeah. in this life mm -hmm. comes from your concepts mm -hmm. so the more we understand god's ideas and how the kingdom works you become bold wow yes. excellent wow you can make decisions mm -hmm. you can speak before kings yes wow. it, it's powerful yes so oh, you have to understand how powerful our belief system is mm -hmm. The most important issue in life is the source of your ideas. It's so important they even had school of thoughts in mm -hmm. Jesus' day. Yes. Didn't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist had his school of thought. Jesus had his school of thought. Yes. Which was John the Baptist. Wow. Um, they, they all had their school of thoughts. Mm -hmm. So it's very important we understand without a kingdom concept, we will not have bibl proper biblical understanding mm -hmm. and your theology will be completely defective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the source of your theology? Mm -hmm. We have to read the Bible for ourselves from mm -hmm. a kingdom paradigm, a government yes. paradigm. Yes. Yes. Christianity is man's idea. That's mm -hmm. right. Wow. <laughs> That's bold. <laughs> not God's idea. God's idea is a government. That's yeah. what our yes. world needs is a mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. Christianity religion, the kingdom is not a religion. It's That's a right. country yes. governed by a king mm -hmm. with yes. all the components of a nation. Mm -hmm. Religion serves as a substitute for the kingdom and it preoccupies mm -hmm. you with busy stuff until you discover the kingdom yes. for yourself. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. Religion prepares you to leave the earth, mm -hmm. yes. whereas the focus <laughs> of the kingdom is here That's right. on earth. To bring heaven mm -hmm. here on earth. We don't want to escape. Bring mm -hmm. heaven here to us. Yeah. For all mm -hmm. to see and glorify our King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we must get the right ideas. And I will leave you with this. The man and the treasure, after seeking after all the treasures and all the pearls, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he had to give up all his other yes. ideas. Yes, that's right. When he found the kingdom. Wow. Mm -hmm. You gladly give up all your ideas, yes. your, your sacred cows, your dogmas, <laughs> your philosophy. Uh, give them up. Yes. So faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. Your source of your faith and your belief system is your thoughts and what That's you right. hear, what you read, what you see. Mm -hmm. So everything you believe now is what you heard. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Everything. That's so I encourage you powerful. for 2020, <laughs> repent. Yes. It's a constant process. Change mm -hmm. your mentality. It will then in turn change your behaviors, your entire life. No amount of prayer or fasting will do this. Mm -hmm. You have the power. You have the mandate to do this yourself. The Holy mm -hmm. Spirit won't do it. So stop being lazy. Mm -hmm. yes. Stop sitting there getting spoon fed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Become a disciple. Study. We have we have developed programs. We've, this is a youth book. Right. How to change your thinking. Discover mm -hmm. who you are. Your place in this world. Become a perpetual student. We have done mentorship program. Wow. You guys, wow. this is loaded stuff. Mm -hmm. 500, 600 pages worth of gold. Wow. This will change your life. Mm -hmm. Get these books. Join the e-course. Join the mentorship. I am doing something new for 20 now that I've trained people through this mentorship program for the past four years, now we have facilitators and coaches that can help people wow. mentor them. Wow. And we are doing this virtually online, but it's limited. It's 75% mm -hmm. occupied already. Mm -hmm. We have about 12 bucks left. Mm -hmm. wow. 
So if you want to change your thinking, change your mind, <laughs> listen, we've developed resources. I've developed an e-program and mm -hmm. we've tailored it to you. And we're yeah. going to, it's going to be um, on Zoom calls. It'll be interactive and it's a one year process. Mm -hmm. Invest in your yourself here yes. what do you have to lose mm -hmm. yes. discover who you are become mm -hmm. yourself yes bear fruit i want to bear 100 percent fruit i don't want to be a 30 percent person for the mm -hmm. kingdom i want to be a hundred percent person for the kingdom of god mm -hmm. yeah so we've developed these resources for you they're all oh. on my white agents for change international um we start the program january 4th so you oh. have to Sign up by December 31st. We have mm -hmm. about 12 spots left. Wow. Join us and discover who you are and become a mighty agent of change wow. for the kingdom of God. <laughs> Excellent. Wow. wow. Thank you very much, uh, Mam Trista. It's really a powerful message. That's right. It's, it's very easy to understand. Uh, it's very clear. practical and mm -hmm. very clear, Coach Pressy. That's right. <laughs> and uh, uh, that message really needs everyone to hear that message, Coach Ariel. Yes. Because truly that uh, your thoughts is very powerful. Mm -hmm. It's yes. up to you what kind of thought you will have. Yes, it's just <laughs> to have a thought, Coach Pressy, it's mm -hmm. really a choice. Yes. You know, when I discovered the kingdom, it, it cost me... 13 years in the religion <laughs> before I discovered the kingdom. Yes. Year 2013, the first time I heard Dr. Miles Munro uh, uh, sharing the message of the kingdom in TBN. Uh, when I when I first time I heard Dr. Miles Munro, I thought to myself, this man is different. Yes. So I started to unload, <laughs> to delete all the religious mentality That's that right. has been really deluded to, to me by the religion. Yes, because so, it can't be uh, both of them. The old... Right, and that's where they mix old wine and new wine. Yes. yes. And they that's together, right. that's and that's dangerous. That's right. Yes. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do that. Yes. Mm. You know, Coach Presley, when I discovered the kingdom, I... I, I almost download all the teaching of Dr. Miles in YouTube. Then she always asks me, why your ears always is happy. always listening? <laughs> I have <laughs> a headphone always in my ears. <laughs> even I, it, I, it, even it's 12 midnight, I still keep on listening yes. and listening. And she told me that, why are you busy listening? What, <laughs> what kind of <laughs> song are, are you listening? I told her that I'm listening to... A, kingdom message that I have discovered that's right <laughs> that, that really uh, brings change to our lives yes indeed I gave away all my religious books and <laughs> audios and I didn't want any of it anymore I found the pearl and nobody can take that away yes. from me yes. yes wow so thank you very much uh, Mam Trista it's really an honor for mm -hmm. us to have you in this program that's right you are always welcome in this program. Mm -hmm. And it's our <laughs> pleasure to serve also our gift and uh, to let your message be heard, not only here in the Philippines, but throughout the world. Yes. Thank you, guys. It's been an honor. You're blessed. Have a very Merry Christmas season. And here's <laughs> to a productive mm -hmm. and purposeful 2020 wow. as we go yes. to the next level. Yes, wow. thank you. And the message really... It, it says to me that keep on repenting. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Especially this coming year, 2020. Yes. Keep As on we repenting. start uh, 2020, so let's continue to repent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you again, Mom Trista, and more King's favor to you and to your family and to your business. And Kingdom salute yes, to you, Kingdom Mom. salute to you. Thank you. Be blessed. Yeah. And bye, bye for now. Bye-bye. Wow, Coach Pressy. Yes. That was uh, Mom Trista. Mom Trista, thank you for her the life. The founder of uh, Agents uh, for, for Change, change. Thank International. You for, yes. And we really appreciate her time. So yes, this is Coach Ariel. And this is your Coach Pressy. Saying bye-bye and kingdom salute to everyone. Bye for now. Bye. And God bless more kingdom favor.